Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jody Middendorf and I served in Peace Corps Madagascar from 2017 to 2019. Now I'm back in the United States and I'm making videos to help out current and future Peace Corps volunteers so that you're more prepared. Today I'm talking about 10 Peace Corps project ideas that you can apply wherever you are and use these ideas to spark even better ideas in some cases. So the first five will be more common Peace Corps project ideas that I've seen done a lot of times and then the next five will be lesser used different things that I came up with. If you're unfamiliar with Peace Corps and the framework and um, what the projects are and how much control you have over your projects. So basically the gist of it is that you are assigned into a project goal and that is your sector. So if you're going into Peace Corps Madagascar in the education sector, you are expected to teach and that is your primary project and you're supposed to spend about 80% of your work time working on education and education related things. And then the 20% of your time that you have left, you can devote to any secondary project that you want to do and it doesn't have to be education related because you're an education volunteer. You can choose whatever you're passionate about and whatever your community needs. That's the important thing. Is you need to find something that is going to be useful in the community that you're in. So these are just ideas. They aren't suggestions that you should do these different things in your community. They're kind of supposed to get your mind rolling and give you some ideas of different paths you could go down with your project in your area. You want to bring these ideas and ideas of your own to community members, to your counterpart, to people who have a little more sway in your community and let them know what you're thinking and get their input because they're going to know best what they need, what's going to work, what's not and you have to work with them 100% in order for any of these to really work and be in implemented and helpful to the people in your community that you're trying to impact anyways. So remember that, again, these are ideas. You don't want to plan out a whole project based off of these ideas before you've brought it to the attention of the people in your community and gotten their input. Another point I wanted to make is that, yes, these are there are 10 project ideas here, but that doesn't mean you should do 10 secondary projects. Things are going to take time and you could do many projects, but could you do all of those projects well or would your time better be spent um, on one or two different projects that you can really devote time to and energy to and develop into the most successful, helpful, useful things for your community. So just something to keep in mind. So the first idea is to do a glow camp or a bro camp and glow camps stand for girls leading our world. Bro camps are the camps where boys are also introduced into these camps and you could do com you could do them combined you could do any kind of camp along the same ideas where you teach gender equity and um, that different genders can do just as much as other genders and things like that and you can do these camps for a day a couple days or a full week depending on what your community can do and where you are you can do field trips during these camps, you can have fun activities, competitions, you can, I mean the sky's the limit, but those are common things where Peace Corps volunteers will get together with other volunteers and bring kids together and do a fun camp for a week or less. I know there's a lot of material that you can find on this through Peace Corps and on the internet, so if you, you know, want something that's kind of been ironed out a little bit, you can look at all of the other people that have already done this and see how that can make it easier for you in your own community. Another common project for Peace Corps volunteers is to start a club. I had an English club, I actually had a few English clubs, some for older students, some for younger students, some for adults, and you can take the club idea and bring it to anything. You could start um, a running club, a soccer club, anything like that. If your community you think would thrive with a new club, you know, put together a group, it's pretty simple, you can make it as serious, as relaxed as you want and do different things and you know, it's just kind of a framework of having a club and meeting and having leadership positions in the club and it can be a really great thing for a lot of people in the community and it can be fun for you because you can make the club something that you're interested in. So that's something that a lot of Peace Corps volunteers do. A third idea is to start a garden. Depending on where you live, you can grow different things or you can have a gardening club. 
um, but just to teach people different farming practices that might work better wherever you are in the world. And if this is something that your community needs, again, leaders in your community can help you decide if it is or not, then that's a great idea. You can put a garden anywhere on your property that you live on if that's possible or community or at the school. Um, again, the sky's the limit with that. A fourth idea is to do a sensitization on a certain topic. Uh, where I was working in Madagascar, some people were doing malaria sensitizations, which means that you go around to different areas and you teach about malaria. Some people did birthing things, different things like that, where you just spend about an hour teaching whoever shows up to your meeting about information on the topic, malaria, birth, some places do HIV, AIDS, sensitizations where you just give out information that the public should know but maybe doesn't. You can even hang posters, do dances, put on skits in the community, things like that, and just to teach about a topic. And you could do any topic. The fifth thing that's very common for Peace Corps volunteers to do in their community is to teach English or to start an English club, like I said earlier. And that is not just for English teaching volunteers. You could be an agriculture volunteer and then help out teaching English. Some people that I know in Madagascar who are agriculture volunteers did this. And it's just another thing, you know, if your community needs some English tutoring, that's a skill you have and you could do English teaching on the side or have classes for different people or just target the English teachers and help them out. Um, but you know, another idea for the community, that's a common thing that Peace Corps volunteers do. So these are um, different ideas that are maybe less common but also really fun. The first one of these that I'm going to share is doing a bike ride and you can combine this with the sensitization idea of teaching things to people but you can make it a group effort. This is something that people did in Madagascar that I wish I could have been a part of but I wasn't able to and what they did is they would plan out you know a week or two of biking and they would map out different towns that they're going to stop at on along the way of this bike ride and all the Peace Corps volunteers would gather their bikes and start at the beginning and then stop at all these different towns and put on these activities that they would have planned and they would contact the mayor and the school and people like that ahead of time and be like we're coming on this day we're willing to do this and this and this and whoever shows up shows up something you can do see more of the country wherever you're at uh, get outside be active with your friends and also have an impact Another idea is to plan a field trip for a school or any group or club that's already in existence or one of them that you start. You can plan a field trip or a college visit and something educational or fun or something that the kids don't get to do very often. You can do this with adults as well, don't forget that. You can have a field trip for adults in the community and be like, you know what, we're gonna go to this library in a town a few miles away and we're going to learn computer skills and something like that, you can, you know, take people from your community somewhere else if you can get the funding or <clears throat> do fundraisers in your community any way that you can, you know? Another idea is to make some kind of competition. You could do this with sports, music, arts, you could do it as academics as well. You can have, um, for example, a spelling bee, put on a spelling bee and have prizes that people can win or put on a dancing competition for fun and different things to engage the community and bring activities, a sense of community and accomplishment. Um, if you're going to do competitions, it'd be fun to have prizes or certificates, anything like that, you know, use your imagination, assess your town, see what the needs are, and make something fun. Another thing that you can do, depending on the needs of your community again, is do some kind of addiction awareness uh, sensitization or teaching or have some kind of group. Um, don't claim to be a professional or anything like that. Maybe you can find the doctors in your town. Start some kind of campaign where you teach about alcohol awareness and um, alcohol dependency, other drug dependencies, um, smoking cigarettes. Teach about the effects of alcohol and cigarettes and drugs and things like that. Or you can even just make posters and hang them up around town showing the dangers of different things that people are doing in the community if that information isn't already spread around and well known where you're at. So I'm probably going to end up going over 10 things now because um, I have more than 10 project ideas written down and I'm just going to share them all because there's no reason to limit them. So the next one is 
to work or volunteer at any youth center or help start a youth center where I was living. Another organization, a few other organizations actually worked together. I think World Food Program was part of it, Catholic Relief Services, and there were a few others. They had put together a youth center in the town that I was living in, and so sometimes I would go there and I would play chess with students and teach them different things and read and teach English in, the, in this building that they had provided. There was a basketball court and you could play basketball. And I didn't get super involved in that. I had a lot of other things going on. But that's an idea is if there's something like that, you know, go there, plan classes, plan games or tournaments or anything like that if it already exists in your town. And if not, maybe look into how you could work with organizations around there to try and get something like that made if there isn't a lot for the students and young people in the town to do otherwise. This one is a fun one that um, somebody in my community actually asked me to do and I didn't end up being able to do it because of lack of time. I was really busy again with just my teaching job and my English club and things like that. But you could do an adult skills share program where adults come together, they teach each other different things and um, you could do like anything, any adult in your community that has some kind of skill that they could teach. You could put together days where they come and one person teaches something this week, somebody teaches something next week, and you could teach anything from um, animal care to farming techniques to sewing, working on a computer, putting together a resume. You can teach some things too, but give other people a voice in the community as well to share what they know with everybody else. And um, you could do this as often or as rarely as you have time for, but it'd be a great idea. I mean, the sky's the limit. I keep saying that in this video, but there are so many things that you could do, so many ideas that you could bring to the table and hear from others in your community and get a feel of what everybody wants and needs and what people will show up to do. And if you find a good group of people that are hardworking and want to learn and want to do great things, then run with it. Have fun. and. Just follow your passions and where your heart's at with the people there, where their heart's at, and you can do so many cool things. Just remember to keep it pertinent to your town and um, involve the people who you're working with, your counterpart, in the development of the ideas because I promise it makes it so much easier and things run more smoothly than if you just try to do it all yourself and do your own ideas. So I hope this was helpful. If you have any more project ideas, put them in the comments below and share for everybody else who sees this video. And if you have any questions or want any advice on any projects that you're doing, um, ask those questions too and myself or other people can answer those questions and give ideas and feedback. Um, but I'm so excited for the people that will be going into the Peace Corps soon and bringing all these new ideas that they have to the field and really inspiring and changing people's lives. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing. It means a lot to me. Thanks. Bye.